As vaccine demand skyrockets, the NYC monkeypox outbreak is responsible for one-fourth of U.S. cases. The FDA has licensed JYNNOS as a vaccine to prevent monkeypox, but supplies in the U.S. are currently constrained, and suspected cases in NYC have increased by 84% in the past week alone. The largest ever U.S. outbreak has now grown to include 160 individuals, according to New York City health officials, who added another almost two dozen suspected monkeypox cases to the growing list on Friday. With the additions made on Friday, there has been an 84% increase in suspected monkeypox cases in the past week alone, and a 310% increase in the previous two weeks. According to data, New York City is now responsible for close to a quarter of the 700 U.S. monkeypox cases that have been reported to the CDC so far this year. Health officials claim that there is little risk to the broader American public despite the fact that monkeypox is contagious and normally limited to the African continent. Since vaccinations are already available to treat orthopox virus, the family of viruses that include smallpox and chickenpox, this isn't COVID all over again, according to some experts. The issue is maintaining a consistent supply of the FDA-approved monkeypox vaccination. Additionally, it is creating other symptoms. This week, New York City welcomed 6,000 doses of the monkeypox vaccination and promised to schedule further appointments, which would not have been possible without the vials. However, due to an unfortunate glitch, the appointments became available before they were supposed to. As a result, confusion erupted, and city health officials apologized profusely while trying to fix the issue. The 2,500 appointments that were accidentally released on Wednesday were all filled up in less than 10 minutes. The city will respect those, according to officials, but won't schedule any more appointments until it receives its next shipment of vaccines the following week. But how exactly does the vaccine against monkeypox work? Like many others, it is a two-dose vaccination regimen, but, due to a vaccine supply shortage, some New Yorkers may have to wait an additional week or two to receive their additional layers of protection against monkeypox. In the meantime, authorities are rushing to set up a publicly accessible treatment network for a disease that seldom, if ever, strikes the United States. Although no appointments have been made accessible, one immunization clinic has already been established at the Chelsea Sexual Health Clinic on 9th Avenue in Manhattan. Only appointments were accepted on Thursday at both that site and another at the Central Harlem Sexual Health Clinic, located at 2238 Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Later this month, a third location at the Corona Sexual Health Clinic is anticipated to open. According to the health department's criteria, the only people who are now eligible in New York City are gay, bisexual, or other men who have sex with men and transgender, gender non-conforming or gender non-binary persons ages 18 and older who have had multiple or anonymous sex partners in the last 14 days. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you click on the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.